a brief look at yesterday's trade. What are your broad expectations for the day ahead? Anything specific that you've got your eye on? Uh, we've seen uh, just this morning that uh, Kenjen has released its full year results. Uh, thank you very much, Alicia. It's always a pleasure. Basically, looking at the market, just as you noted there, we are seeing a lot of exuberance, especially in terms of the financial stocks and uh, a lot of demand coming on that front, especially some of the companies that have been performing fairly well, especially in terms of their CEO, just as you mentioned, Diamond Trust, Equity Bank, a lot of activity on the financing front, especially as we are preparing for the quarter three results and uh, also looking forward and taking positions for 2011. But looking at it in terms of the industrial front, the news about Kenjan is uh, a, bit, a bit of a concern, especially with the performance of the utility sector. Looking at KPLC and how they fared compared to Kenya Kenjan, it shows a bit of a, a, of a less than expected performance. Well, uh, as you've said, they're a very disappointing 47% slump in full year pre-tax profits, uh, hitting 2.4 billion shillings. Uh, but they do say that the outlook uh, looks a bit brighter with rains having come earlier than anticipated this year. I mean, what are you making in terms of, uh, of the group strategy moving forward and the plans it's put in place to mitigate against risks such as the weather? Thank you very much. Well, looking at Kenjan and their strategy going forward, looking at the fact that recently they had uh, the, the, the the infrastructure bond, which positioned them to be able to take advantage of the of uh, the environment in terms of ensuring that they have solid performance in terms of uh, their production. Basically, they are well positioned in terms of that. And just as you noted, there is a, a, a good part of better part of last year we had that declined in terms of rain, and because of that, it really affected their performance. And going forward, basically looking at how the rains have performed this year, and looking at some of their position in terms of uh, their capital base, basically they're very well positioned and as a, as a utility manufacturer and looking at it at their placement in terms of the economy they are still very well positioned and so it's still a good uh, long-term buy are they making should they be making significant strides in uh, moving away from their dependence and reliance on hydropower production well, definitely, that's a very good observation, Alicia. Well, looking at how the economy, especially in Kenya, has been, we've been too much of a rain-fed economy. And because of that, we perform fairly well when it comes to rain, uh, rain for seasons. But once things turn around, we seem to see a lot of decline. But looking at it in terms of the energy production, especially the demand and the need for energy as, a, as an economy, that's one of the factors that we have been very keen on. And right now, we are looking at geothermal as well as wind-generated uh, uh, energy. And because of that change and diversification, hopefully, Kenya is going to be very well positioned to be able, be able to take advantage of that. And just as you noted, yes, too much reliance on rainfall in an economy like ours would really, really, really cripple our economy. Yeah. Well, looking at a company that's less reliant on the weather, Scan Group, it's been one of those that have uh, seen strong uptick so far this year after its uh, JV with Ogilvy was announced, but now falling on concerns that it may be overpriced at current levels. What are you making of Scan Group right now? Thank you very much. That's a good observation. Well, Scan Group, just as you noted there, we've seen the share price almost double in a few months' time. And because uh, that one has been fueled a lot by the, the merger with Ogilvy, which was uh, already uh, one of the things that was creating a lot of speculation in terms of their position in the African uh, market or global market. And looking at them going forward, definitely one of the things that have also been creating a lot of uh, demand for the stock is the fact that it was not clear about issues to do with their listing of new shares. And uh, one corporate action that came through yesterday is that uh, they are issuing new shares. And uh, I guess one of the concerns of most investors is looking at the uh, dilution of the earnings potential because of the new shares that are going to be listed. And also, just as you noted there, the PE is fairly high of, of the stock. And so we, are, and we should anticipate a bit of a correction. But going forward, the stock is still very well positioned, especially in the coming years in terms of taking advantage of uh, the advertising market in, Ke in Kenya as well as in the African front. Where the price to earnings ratio has hit 40 and some saying a fairer price would be around 30 times earnings. What's your view there? What's looking like fair value uh, in your opinion? A fair value, in my opinion, would be maybe in the range of 45 shillings to 50. And uh, looking at it in terms of how it behaved yesterday, we saw a significant uh, supply in terms of uh, profit taking, and we saw a lot of that. But definitely, we should be able to see it getting a bit of a support as we go towards uh, 45 shillings to 50 range.